Hello, my name is Tom Scornell. I'm here at the best of mode can get. And what we're going to be doing today is taking you through various ways to shave and style your moustache over the time of November. So, what we're going to start by doing is just assessing what we've got here and just tidying up around the lip area. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to be using the sensitive wash. Now, this one's by Gillette. Just make sure, especially when you are doing this, that you're focusing on this area around the nose where you can get some skin grease build up and also on the chin. Before you do start to shave, what is also important is that you make sure that you remove any soap, any sort of soap that's left on the skin. Make sure it's all the way from your face because this is not going to help your shave at all. So, the next stage is we're going to be using our hot towel now. Essentially, this is exactly the same as when she's got out of the shower. And again, what this is doing is it's just making sure that the pores of your face are really nice and open and that the hair that you are shaving is going to be as soft as possible. Okay, now what I'm going to be using today is the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide Gel. Now, this is a clear gel, okay? Now, when you are growing the moustache and styling, it's important that you can actually see what you're doing. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep tension on the face. This is gonna help the hairs protrude from the face and actually help you get the closest shape you can possibly get. We're so gonna keep going with the, hair, the grain of the hair. Now, if you do not suffer from any sort of irritation in the skin, you can find that you're more than welcome to go with the grain and against the grain. If you go with and against, you are gonna get a closer shape that you will increase the likelihood of any sort of ingrowing hair. What is then important is that you're going to use like a cold flannel on your face after, or even just splash your face with cold water. Now, what this is going to do is going to help close the pores that we've just opened up. What you'll find is if you leave your pores open on your face, then the dirt and the grit is going to get into your face, and then that's what's going to cause your sort of breakout. Okay, and then to finish off the last stage, what I'm going to be using is a moisturizer. Now, whether you're shaving or not, I definitely recommend any of you guys out there are using moisturizer because essentially this is what's going to keep our skin looking good, fresh, and young for as long as possible before the inevitable.